the topic of this class is the hepatorenal pouch or the pouch of morison it is the most dependent part of the peritoneal cavity in the upper abdomen it is also called as right subhepatic creases it presents the following boundaries so the boundaries are shown clearly in this image in the class of the peritoneum we have already seen the right layer of the falciform ligament is reflected to the anterior surface of the right kidney so that forms the hepatorenal pouch so this hepatorenal pouch you can see in this it is uh, given by the first arrow hepatorenal pouch of morison so just see the pouch and you can understand the boundaries now in front what is in front inferior surface of the right lobe of the liver behind anterior surface of right kidney and a part of the right suprarenal gland and also the right colic flexure right colic flexure is also also shown in this below the right kidney what is above that is the reflection inferior layer of coronary ligament below it is communicating with the greater sac infra colic compartment of the greater sac along the right paracolic gutter and then opens into the pelvic peritoneum so these are the boundaries of the hepatorenal pouch in front inferior surface of the right lobe of the liver behind anterior surface of right kidney and above is the suprarenal gland and below is the right kidney is the right colic flexure what is the superior boundary is the inferior layer of coronary ligament below it is communicating with the greater sac on the right side it is limited by the diaphragm and communicates with the right anterior intraperitoneal recess left side it communicates with the obental bursa through the epiploic foramen so these are the communications of this morison's pouch what is its importance why we should know about this a uh, hepatorenal pouch of peritoneum if you see in the recumbent supine position the hepatorenal pouch and the recto uterine pouch in female or the recto vesical pouch in male are the most dependent parts of the peritoneal cavity and the pelvic brim stands as a plane of watershed so after an abdominal operation the patient is customarily placed in the propped up position with a view to encourage gravitation of peritoneal fluid in the pelvic cavity so that absorption of the infected fluid will be less so these are the most dependent pouches of peritoneal cavity the remaining uh, recesses of peritoneum we will see in the next class